Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough on second thought. Rather than going over to the pier to continue on with the game's story, I think I'm gonna go do more side quests. I think that's a good idea, otherwise they're gonna build up and stuff and stuff and stuff, so yeah. The one that I'm gonna be doing today is one and only one because it is a pretty long one. <laughs> Next up on the list here is Pinty Jr. Help my daddy! Oh, my dad is in a world of hurt down there! Please, you gotta help him! I'm waiting at the entrance to the pit of 100 trials! <laughs> Mini throw court! Yes, I will. Uh, you can safely do this one at this point in the game, I think, because you don't have to go through the pit of 100 trials all at once. Uh... Well, I mean, when you do this place for realsies, like from start to finish, you're going to have to do it all at once from floor 1 to 100 in one run. But uh, right now, you can, I mean, well, you can do this anytime. You can leave at any 10th floor, and every 10th floor will have a uh, little prize waiting for you. So, yeah, it's because the earlier areas of the Pit of 100 Trials are relatively easy overall unless you're really bad at timing guards and stuff like that um you shouldn't have much issue with this whatsoever but then again i uh, sort of said that before <laughs> you'll see why when i get in there i should probably switch to uh, goombella here because there's some exclusive enemies in the pit that uh i'd like to tattle through here <clears throat> and here we are oh boy oh boy you took out my trouble Oh, thank the stars. This is just terrible. My dad went into the pit of 100 trials and he never came out. He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the pit's treasure. But I don't need treasure. I just want my dad back. Please help him. Okay, let's go in. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Actually, there's nothing to be afraid of here. <laughs> This is the pit of 100 trials. That pipe just seems to lead down forever. Still, the air seems kind of fresh here. I guess it's flowing down from above, huh? Uh, over here, you'll see a, a sign for each level here to indicate where you are. Come on, I just like to do a little demonstration for the people. A little spin jump outside of battle, which is probably something that you'll want to get the hang of. Oh, shoot. <laughs> As I managed to fail it. Because uh, being able to do more damage to enemies via first strikes like that is immensely handy in this place because it gets, gives you a little bit of leeway against the onslaught of enemies from floor to floor. Anyway, that's a Gloomba! He likes dark, damn places! Max HP is 7, attack is 3, and defense is 0. It's stronger than a normal Goomba, so be careful. That's not a healthy color for a Goomba, but it doesn't mean it's sick or anything, so don't show any mercy. Okay, dokey. Um, I'd probably best start starting to chip away at this guy's HP because, it, yeah, it's got pretty decent attack power there, and uh, how did I manage to fail that? As I was saying that if you're bad at guarding, this place could give you an issue, but uh, I'm not that bad at it, just that I'm... Oh, that was good. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't get a poison mushroom there, uh, but uh, I, could, I just gotta focus on the guards more and I should be fine with this. Another way, I mean, another reason why I'm coming down here is because I would like to demonstrate the items that have been uh, uh, building up in my inventory stash here. Yeah, these items right here. And I figured, hey, what better place to do it than uh, the Pit of 100 Trials? Because it's like a dry practice run through stuff and stuff. And hold on. I'm going to do this. Ah! Yeah, you can also spin hammer for first strikes. Which is pretty dang handy. Oh, that one's got a sleepy sheep! No! No! I wonder... Mm, I don't know. I. Uh, when you're in the pit, you, you definitely want to conserve your stats as best you can. So sometimes you have to make trade-offs between flower points and HP points. Like in this case, I'm going to try and conserve flower point, I mean, conserve hit points by wiping them all out at once. Oh, stage hazard. <laughs> I seen that falling. I was like, oh, no, you don't. I'm keeping my HP. Also remember to use uh, your star power, your star points up there for um, 
like recovery moves rather than attack moves, or at least that's a preference of mine that I like doing, if at all possible, because, uh, as I said, it's about cons consumption here. I can recover star points during the course of uh, the Pit of 100 Trials, but mm, the rest is iffy, you know? <laughs> it, it, it's a matter of, I mean, you can take items in here with you, but you've got a limited supply of items and whatnot as well. Um, this is a pretty bad setup of enemies here. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're not Goombella friendly here. So I think I'm gonna swap over to Coops. It's been a while since I've used Coops, huh? Love their sound effects. And yeah, now, now I'm doing fine with guarding, so I should be able to make it to the end of this, well, end of this place that I would like to do here. <laughs> uh, I'm going up to the 20th floor. Uh, uh, his dad is on the 18th floor, but once you reach the 18th floor, you've got to... Oh my goodness, is that a Power Smash badge drop? Wow, that's pretty dang rare. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Yep, these pipes just keep going on and on and on. Hey you, hey you. I know you're alive. Oh, did I get the spin jump off? I'm not sure about that. I have to take an educated guess. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. Not all that useful since it's only got one HP, but well, whatever. It'd be nice to get that uh, mushroom there as a drop, now wouldn't it? Yeah, there are, I mean, there is the potential to get stuff after battle, so you don't have to, like, uh, conserve your stats that much, but you definitely want to conserve your stats in case of the worst case scenario. Oh, hey, hey, hey look at that. It's my pouch, oh yeah! Got some pretty decent drops here. Uh, and it's just done on the early floors. I still got, maybe I should start uh, demonstrating those, like, uh, yeah, maybe I should start demonstrating those uh, um, items now. You know that I've had in my inventory. So let's see what would be useful to demonstrate at this point here. That would be bad. Mm, that might be okay. Let's try the courage shell. I don't think I ever showed this off before. Yeah, that's all it does. Nothing all that special. It's not like. Uh, Koops' shell shield here, which I'd also like to show off a little bit later, it, because it's got its own animation and stuff like that. But, as I said, I'd like to conserve stuff and stuff and stuff, so yeah, let's let's not for now. Attack Mario. Thank you. Not that I was going to do any damage anyway. <laughs> oh wait, unless, maybe it's got, wait, I could be wrong about that. It might actually have a uh, defense penetrating attack, come to think of it. Mwah. And we're done. Another floor, beaten. Yeah, when when you get uh, into this place, you, you're probably gonna end up clicking through the end celebration screen like I was doing there, because it just gets a little bit lengthy after a while, I guess you could say. Oh, got another Gloomba. Haha, spin jump for the win! Oh, oh, poopers, I was focused on the stylish timing and I messed up the timing after. Err, err, I say, err. That's fine. Not really that big of a deal. There's only one Gloomba here. It's just like uh, an early, early, early floor. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Well, I wonder if I should actually bring out a Goombella again, just in case of new enemies. I don't remember when new enemies show themselves in here, but there are a bunch of exclusives in the Pit of 100 Trials, some way, way down in the uh, late, late floors. Oh, no! Ah, <laughs> oh, poopers. That's fine. Uh, we got another enemy barrage here. How about I do an earthquake, just to speed things up here. <laughs> That was easy. <laughs> and yet the stage still had the chance of attacking me. <laughs> I mean, it, well, it did attack me, but I mean, even after I cleared the enemies out, there's still a chance that you could take damage if you aren't on guard. So yeah, always, always, always be on guard 
at the pits of 100 trials. Although it's going to be pretty easy to get through the first 20 floors. It's just a good habit that you should probably get into while you're in this place. Come on, get over here. I, I want to... Them in, uh, yeah! <laughs> Reaction time for the win! Mm -hmm. Woo! Finally got that stylish. Took me a, a little while to get to nail that one. Woo! Yep, I'm relearning. Oh, I was gonna say relearning things a little bit at a time here, and well, not not. I shouldn't say relearning. What I'm doing is re-practicing, you know, the the instinct or reflex timing of stylish moves and whatnot. What floor are we on? Level eight. Okay. I was gonna say we gotta be getting close to a uh, break room. Hey there, how's it going? Oh, I don't know if I did a regular jump or a spin jump. Oh, it was a spin jump. Woo! Not that it was very useful on that, but... <laughs> I mean, I could have gotten away with just a regular jump since the... Um, uh, since the attack just nails uh, the enemy that you're hitting outside of battle, and that's... It's only got one HP. Woo! Not very practical to level grind in here, as you can tell. <laughs> Because, you know, you gotta reach the later floors to really get some decent experience points on this, and that'll take a while. Alright, so here we are at a break room. Every ten floors, you'll be able to get us something something. This is the Sleepy Stomp Badge, the ex execute superbly to make enemies sleepy. Um, and hitting this switch, it just brings up this pipe. It's just so that you don't accidentally press down on this floor, you know, and automatically skip over to the next floor. And you'll know, look at look who's here. Hey, 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 yo. I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. You got the fevered look of a man with mind for goods. Want to buy something? Sure, and yeah, these these are a little bit pricey. You, if, if you come down through here and want to restock on items, you better bring a lot of coins. I'm going to be fine with what I have right here and now. So, I'm just gonna skip out on this. Mm, I, I suppose that's true. By the way, are you the, the same guy? Yeah, he is! I guess he sells his wares here too. But it looks like his stuff gets more expensive the deeper he is in the pit. I'm happy to be able to shop here and all, but sheesh! Well, it's your money. <laughs> that is true. You can spend your money however you please. By the way, that pipe at the upper right corner there just takes you out of the Pit of 100 Trials, which is not something we want to do. We need to get to floor 18. Hey, you. Jump down. Yeah. Seriously? There we go. <laughs> it was my spin jump that kind of prevented me from landing on it. Woo! Oh, boy pokies. And that, that fog, oh, that's bad to have in this pit, too. Uh, because, you know, when you're, you're, when you're trying to set something up, it can sort of make, make your attacks miss on some things, and yeah, I'm gonna swap to... Hmm. Is it safe to attack? I'm not sure if it's safe to attack with Vivian. I don't think so. I'm gonna switch to Coops. Just me. Remember to... Nice shot! <laughs> Alright, I just don't want them to spawn other Pokies. Granted, I could get more experience points from them infinitely spawning Pokies, but... No, not in the Pit of 100 Trials. Let's not do that. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's fine. Right, click, 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 go, 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 go! For some reason, I couldn't click through that. I guess it was loading. Like it, uh, I think between battles it loads uh, stuff to be as seamless feeling as possible, I guess you could say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That could be trouble. It could be trouble. But I think it's a new uh, enemy. Wait, maybe, maybe it's not a new enemy. No, these are all uh, the black and white versions. I'm thinking of a, another kind of cleft enemy that's a little bit later on. In the pit of 100 trials, actually. Mm, I can safely shell toss this. It's low enough. Aha! Not gonna happen! Oh no, I'm considering my stats here. I gotta make it to floor 18. Well, technically, floor 20. You'll see. 
<laughs> Yay! Ooh. Dang loading screen. <laughs> well, the sky's loading screen. See, sometimes you can click through that really quick, other times you can't. I'm going down. And down and down and down. By the way, the, this place gets spookier and spookier as you go. Oh yeah! That's gonna be handy versus the pokies. Oh, just one pokey this time. Well, it's still gonna be decently handy. Woo! Mm -hmm. At least it prevents it from uh, having a chance of spawning other evil ones. <laughs> infinitely, uh, well, I shouldn't say uh, infinitely spawning, in, uh, infinitely reproducing enemies, like if there's one left over, can be quite the issue. Mm -hmm. Remember to collect the coins as well as the uh, um, stuff that things drop in this place as well, because you know it's, it's it's a matter of consumption as well as the ability to get some coins for later floors in case you need to buy some stuff. Poopers, ah, I was focusing on the stylish timing again. Um, hmm, still not really a good time to, to demonstrate these, is there? I mean, I, gu I guess I could show this off. Direct attacks will be countered. Mm. Woo! Alright, attack me directly so I can show this thing off. That's how it works. No! Oh! That's another thing about the Pit of 100 Trials is that you can have some bad luck. Oh! Like that. <laughs> I should probably swap to Goombella. Oh, it attacked Goombella, not Mario. I, I have that item. Ah! Yeah, the spite pouch. Well, at least uh, Goombella isn't affected by it because she was out for you'll swap. Oh, yeah. All right. Recovered. Sort of. Well, I mean, I recovered from both stats, so there was a negative recovery and a positive recovery there, is what I mean. Alright, so you've seen the spike pouch. Uh, that point swap item is good if you are low on flower points or whatnot, but it, it's a trade-off for your partner's HP, so I guess if you're going to use that trade-off with a partner you don't typically use much or don't like one that doesn't really fit into your style. Can I like... Yes! I thought you could! You can actually uh, s first strike them if you're spin jumping in the mid in midair as an enemy crosses uh, your hitbox, basically. No can! No can! By the way, if you get double poison mushrooms at the upper right corner there, that could also be a lot of trouble at the uh, Pit of 100 Trials. Oh, I never... Did I ever show the hammer throw? I'm not sure if I did. Yeah! Boo! It's a decent thingy that can hit an enemy just about everywhere. Wait, actually, it can hit an enemy, enemy everywhere. What am I thinking? Uh, oh! I thought it was going to hit Mario, so I pressed it uh, when it was uh, next to Mario, but I still managed to get the timing properly. That's kind of interesting. I guess the... Uh, regular timing for things isn't all that strict. Alright, head bonk for the win. FTW. And another one bites the dust. Whee! Lots of coinage. Lots of coinage. This place is probably pretty good to uh, uh, grind for coins, though, I suppose. Well, maybe. It's still kind of uh, inconvenient to get to the really, really good prizes. Level 16. Hey, you. Ah, seriously? Come on. There we go. Always remember to do first strikes on enemies if you can, and your most and your most powerful first strikes at that, as it's just very, very ideal for the situation. Uh, anyway, um... You know, I really don't need to conserve that many stats. Maybe I should start, um... Showing off other moves here. Although, perhaps I probably should have destroyed that Goomba first. <laughs> oh, it'll be fine. I've got plenty... 
plenty of HP where that came from. I don't have to get to the bottom of the Pit of 100 Trials this time anyway, so... Oh, dizziness. Uh, I'm gonna do the Fiery Jinx here. It's a really good move, but uses quite a bit of flower points here. Okay, just watch the buttons and do it carefully. You don't have to do it too care. Um, you don't have to do it too quickly. Just watch the buttons and just, yeah. I missed the stylish timing. It's right after the explosion that she does. Powerful move. Uses a lot of flower points though. Great for wiping out enemies quickly though. Alrighty, going down. Whoop. Mm, now, hold, I'm gonna see here. I'm gonna let him attack first. I just wanna make sure that this is an enemy that I haven't encountered before. Okay, it is an enemy I have in, uh, encountered before. The last time I uh, uh, seen one of these was a while back, and I don't remember if it was the... Cause see, there's a, uh, other clept varieties that are new and stuff and stuff, yeah. Anyway, one more fiery jinx just for the fun of it. Oh yeah. Ah, wait, wait, it's, it's before the explosion, not after. What was I thinking before? Uh, memory. Not my strongest point sometimes. <laughs> okay, I gotta practice that fiery jinx when I do the move in more practical ways, I suppose. Well, I suppose that was a practical way to use it, but I mean, when the chips are down. <laughs> oh, and uh, sometimes you'll be able to skip floors if you see a puny on said floor. Oh look, there it is! We're on the 18th floor. Uh, but you, you typically don't want to use the punies if it's going to skip the 10th floor, you know, like in multiples of 10s. There's a beaten up toad lying on the ground. Oh no, I can't revive it. Until I battle! Ah! Oh! This is not going to be pretty. <laughs> well... Well... Yeah, why not? <laughs> Woo! Voila! <laughs> awesome item! Alright, let's go chat with him. See if he is ready to recover now. Huh? What? Who are you? Ah! Wow, did you come here just to save me? Really? Pinty Jr.? Wow, good. I, I have to get back alive. Show me the way out. Okie dokie. Mm, okay, let's go. That's what he says on every floor from here on out. So you gotta make it to the 20th floor in order for us to get out. That's why I knew it. That's why I need to get over to the 20th floor. And also be able to get the uh, lovely fire drive badge on that floor as well. Woo! Um... Mm. Gotta take out the pokey. Even though the other one can charge up, it's still... I mean, the pokey's still more threatening than the Dark Puff. Mm. Woo! Voila! And we made it safely through the first 20 floors of the Pit of 100 Trials, and we gotta level up! Woohoo! Alright, let's upgrade... Flower points this time. Things are getting more and more expensive to use, and I'd like to have the resources to use them. Yeah, that toad panics while there's an enemy in the room as well. Uh, hold on a sec, I just want to see if Toad had, uh, Toad had has anything to say about this. No, 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 I want to see... That's Pinty Jr. Sr., the Toad. He's the father of Pinty Jr., who asked us to help him out. We gotta help Pinty Jr. Sr. quickly, for his son's sake. Okie dokie. And we're pretty much done here. <laughs> like, quite literally, we're pretty much done here. Because when he when you reach this floor, he leaves. He, oh, hey! The exit! Okay, Pinty Jr., I'm on my Fire drive badge! Oh yeah! If you'd like to continue from here, you can do so, but I'm not going to. I'd really like to reach the 50th floor because it it gets it nets me an item that allow me to carry twice the amount of items that I have, and you because you know I've been really filling this thing up lately. But I'm just gonna return to the entrance here for now, 
And, uh, yeah, cover the rest later. I don't think I'm quite ready to really face down this place. I mean, I probably could do it with some practice, but this place just takes so long to do, and, yeah. Oh, by the way, you can't go back down that pipe. It's, it's clogged if you try and go back down it. My dad's back! Sorry for the troubling you. I guess health and family really are the most important things, you know. I'll look back. I'll look for new work. I've got to be strong for my dear son. Thank you so much. I'll give you my treasure as a reward. It's really important to me, but nothing's more important than my dad. So here, and you get a silver card, which allows you to play a new game at the parlor. Now, if you'll excuse us, and really, thank you so very much. And thus they leave, and the trouble is completed. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.